What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing Mr. Crayfish's gun mod on Forge Minecraft. So as you can see we got some mods. We're gonna go over them, but mainly we're gonna focus on Mr. Crayfish's gun mod. Now, he was Mr. Overview and Mr. Crayfish, I'm not sure how, but he was like some YouTuber or mod creator in back in like 2012 of Minecraft's honeymoon phase when people played it. And, yeah, he's really a popular guy, and he makes very well detailed mods. So the first mod we're going to cover today is, of course, the Mr. Crayfish's gun mod. And I'm not- I'm just gonna do it randomly, not in order, but I do recommend getting it. If you're gonna have a server, you should uh, get it, just for the fun of it, because, I mean, it, ad it just adds a whole new weaponry to Minecraft. It changes the way you play. So we're just gonna join a world. Alrighty, sorry if it's a bit laggy. Uh, it's just spawning a bit, always happens. Alrighty. I think I need to turn my, uh... Yeah, I need to turn that down. Sorry if you, there's fog or anything. You know what? Let's go ahead. Yeah, we got fast. Alrighty, clouds off. Yeah, let's do off. Hold up, I'm sorry guys. Uh, welcome back guys. Um, we're gonna be reviewing the crayfish gun mod, I, that's what I said, yeah. So, we're gonna go to the guns. And we, it gives you like a whole new section of enchanting, plus a whole arsenal of various weapons to choose from. So we're going to go ahead and get the bazooka as our first gun reveal. I'm just going to put them in order. Alrighty. So you can put attachments, but since it's a bazooka, you can't. But you can put attachments on almost every gun besides the minigun. You can't put attachments on that. And the grenade launcher, but you just can't put a barrel in an under barrel because, I mean, it doesn't have a barrel. And th these animations look very nice, too. I mean, if I were to do this, they look very smooth. Plus the minigun, which is like the circle cannon, which looks very weird, but... Oh well, at least it's not a full circle, that'd be cursed. Alrighty, so we're gonna go test the bazooka first. So if I were to... you can... Um, it is the... Oh, there's a fire over there. Is there a fire? Is there a lava lake over there? Yeah, there's a lava lake over there. If we were to hit the right mouse button, we can actually scope in on our targets. So like if I was to scope in, but it doesn't show the animation. All the others do if you were to scope in except the pistols. I mean, like, it's a pistol. You don't bring it up to your eye. Rifle does it. Oh wait, I got two rifles. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, I got a grenade launcher. Minigun you can't because, I mean, it's a giant cannon. Uh, assault rifle, yes. The machine pistol, no. I mean, <laughs> fire is heavy. Uh, heavy rifle, yeah, you can. Heavy rifle is basically like the sniper. <laughs> Alrighty, so, demonstrating on the Salmon test subject. Uh, we're gonna go far away. Alrighty, we are gonna test it out. <laughs> it has decimated the items as well. <laughs> Uh, yes, this is environmental damage, so if I were to fire into the wall... Uh, definitely recommend it if you're gonna use it, but the only issue is... Even in full netherite prop 4 armor, it'll still one-tap you. I mean, it's explosion. You need blast protection just to survive. Alrighty, next gun. Let's get rid of the position. Stinky. You know what? Let's get a one more use. Alrighty. Next gun, we have the pistol. Now, the pistol's just good for, like, straight up, uh, it's medium range, I mean, it's not that good, but, I mean, it's better than whatever this is. So this is sort of like a close range gun, if you were to use it. 
it's it, it kind of looks cool the way you point it at someone and just be like, hey, like this is a stick up. I want all your money. And it does a good damage. It can one shot chicken. Can it one shot cows? Yeah, it can. But oh wait, the kid. Yeah, can, can it one shot zombies? Is that that's the real question? No, but it can two tap them. Uh, best recommendation recommendations out of it? Seven out of ten. Good gun. We'll use again. Alrighty, the rifle. This by far is my favorite. Not because of the you can put literally everything on it, but because once you do, if we were to grab this plus that and the scope, tell me that doesn't look good. Tell me, I mean that is a beautiful, beautiful gun. I can't stop firing. I just love it. Um, very good recommendation. Uh, can one tap almost anything. So if we were to summon a husk, because zombies burn, if we were to summon a husk. <laughs> or I mean, it can one two tap them, but uh, recommendations. I would give them eight out of ten. Yeah. All right. So next gun. PS2 players might recognize it is the grenade launcher. Uh, I say this because there was a character in there, it's called Demo Man. And he basically lobs explosives at you. I mean, it's kind of funny. So, if we were to demonstrate this on any, they're like this group of cows, it has pretty long range. It's good for like web wave defense, like if you were being sieged or something like that. Thousands. Eh, the only downside is you should be able to fire it faster, like by a millisecond faster, is my opinion. So what we have next? Best rec my recommendation out of it, six out of ten. Not really a good gun to use. Now comes the mini gun. This is really chaotic, because you can go up to a group of anybody and just go like <laughs> And it's long range, so that's even worse. <laughs> Wanna destroy a mob with cows? Want to harvest the benefits of killing pigs? <laughs> My recommendation: ten out of ten, best gun. Uh, assault rifle. Basically, the minigun in a compact version. But here's the thing: if you do these specific enchantments and get this, and that, and that. I don't think we need scope because we don't snipe. Sniping is for losers. Uh, not all losers, just people who can't snipe then. Um, I'm rambling too much. Let's go ahead and trade the enchants. So, if we- Firestarter is, I'd say the most rare one because, as the name says, it's a fire starter. Anything you hit, it's on fire. And it deals more damage than the minigun, but just look how it fires. <laughs> like, I mean, tell me this isn't a good gun. Tell me, go ahead, argue with me, I will defend you. I mean, you can make funny smiley faces with it too. Hold up. Look, he's a happy guy. He's a happy fellow. Very happy fellow. Uh, best recommendation on this gun? Uh, 11 out of 10, actually. I recommend getting the gun. Don't know how to craft it, though. Alrighty, the machine pistol. Worst gun in the game. We don't review that one. We don't review it, it's bad. No one talks about it. Alrighty, the sniper rifle. If we were to go into here, 
We have a sniper, a futuristic looking sniper. But we can't give it a stock. So that's the only issue. But it looked really cool. Alrighty, so we can have almost every mob. Many people use it because you get more damage out of using the assault rifle. But I wonder if we can no scope anything. Hold up, let me do that quickly. Oh gosh, lag. Not so laggy anymore, right? Can we 360 no scope this? There you have it guys, best gun reviews. Alrighty, so this looks clear. Next mod, uh simple plans. Simple plans. We get a large variety of planes. These aren't just the only variants. We got like crimson. What's the other one? Hold up. Warps, logs. So basically what you need to fly any of these is either an electric engine or a furnace engine. And you got quick fix it kits. The way you craft it is by getting a plane workshop, which is this. Um, if we were to go to the mod, you can craft it. it takes a lot. So I hope you can craft it. Alrighty, so, the engine you can get by doing this. Don't know why you need the propeller, I mean, you already craft a propeller. Unless you're making that thing, maybe you need two. Alrighty, so... Uh, this workbench is... Oh yeah, for the gun mod as well. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, you make a propeller by putting five iron in a propeller shape. Uh, and then you want to build the plane, which can be, with the plane workbench, one propeller, five, uh planks of any variant. The large plane is 10 planks. The helicopter is 7 planks, but 2 propellers. Quick fix it kit. Wait, what? What? Golden apple. Okay. And then the wrench can be used to fix it, but this is like the one tap fix it thing. So, the best source for this, I would say, would be a lava bucket because it can fly really faster. And what I really love about this mod is the detail they put into adding banners on your plane. So wait, let's go ahead and add a banner to this. We can even add them to helicopters. You might be asking, what's that for? How are you driving it without an engine? Good question, I'm in creative mode. So, you need a furnace engine, and then hit whatever keybind to open the furnace engine, minus X. Put the lava bucket in. Got the banner? Yep. Oh yeah, we get a dispenser as well. Now, if you want to start a war, dogfight, World War One, go ahead and do that, be my guest. You can use fire charges. Oh wait, you set your little set your plan on Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But once you're in the air, you can start right click and fire. Holding space bar will be piloted they'll just go like that until they eventually run out of fuel and as you can see their nose is starting to die they will plummet to their death in the ocean clear that they'll just go and go and go
Now, this is compatible with the guns mod and the boat mod that I'm about to show you. Alrighty, the simple ships mod. This just adds a variety of boats. Like, you want a boat? A regular boat? That's nice, but that's very nice. But if we're going to ourselves a night vision potion, you'd want to fly this thing. I mean, look at that. It's ten times better than that. And you're like, Mojang, why can't you do this? And they're like, blah, 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 aquatic update. Well, this mod basically adds it, so you get all these cool boats. Like, just tell me that looks better than whatever that is. Like, this is actually Compatible because you can get a pistol. My terrible. Idea. This way. There we go. It didn't even run. So the next boat we're going to showcase is the cog. Now I don't know what a cog is. I don't sail. I'm a loser. <laughs> So if we were to place it down, oh, I guess we gotta go far out. This is the cog. Basically like a pirate ship, but miniature. And if you want, hitting R, or whatever key.